as we're warming up across the state, things are starting to green up and Alex alfalfa is on that list. Yes, yes. After all that snow, we are seeing that the alfalfa is start to green up, to break dormance. And now it's time for we think about the first soil sampling, analysis, and the fertilization as soon as possible. Ideally, let's go there every year, January, February, early March, and get soil samples. But if that's too much, let's do at least every third year. What I mean with that? So let's say we go this year right now and you do some soil sampling and analysis. And according to recommendations, we use that recommendation from, for this year, next year, and the other. And so in the third year, we do another uh, soil sampling analysis and use that one for the following three. After, when we have how much fertilization we need to put there, how much fertilizer, first thing is let's put it as soon as possible because we want to avoid that when we broadcast the, the, the fertilizer, the fertilizer is getting touched with too much of the new foliage that's coming in wet because that can really hurt the foliage. Now, if the total fertilization, the total amount of fertilizer you need to put there exceeds 500 pounds per acre, please split that in two to avoid high salinity. I would say apply half right now and right after the first cut, go there and apply the other half. What nutrients do, uh, do alfalfa plants really rely on throughout their growth cycle? I would say in quantity would be phosphorus and potassium, but we cannot neglect uh, other macro and macronutrients. That's why it's very important to follow what we have uh, on the soil analysis uh, results. Now that we have the plant out of the ground, we really do have to kind of change focus to the herbicides. Right, that's true. And you know, we are in the edge where we're supposed to be changing the mind uh, which kind of herbicide to be using. Because until this point, alfalfa was dormant during all the winter and very early spring. So during that time, we could apply some herbicides such as Dyron, Hikizazinon, and Terbasu. Uh, however, now that the plants are starting to get active, we cannot apply those herbicides. We need to think about more selective herbicides that can control the grassy weeds. It will not hurt our growing alfalfa. So we have other herbicides available such as cetoxidin and clethodin. Those are two good herbicides that we can, we, we can apply. When applying those two herbicides, I would tell the best time to apply is during the first two weeks of growth or the two weeks of regrowth after a cut. Why? First, that's the time that the, the weeds are coming up younger and it's easy to knock them down. And second, those herbicides that have a hay and grazing restriction of 15 days. What that means? After that you apply the herbicide, you need to wait like two weeks, 15 days. So for you cut for hay. And we know in Oklahoma, producers start to cut alfalfa every 28 days to 42 days. So if you're applying the two first weeks, I'm pretty sure that we are complying with those two weeks, 15 days of restriction before cutting. So that's what I would like to recommend. And, and producers can go to their county extension office and then also you have an online resource for that? Yes, we have an online resource and especially when you talk about the herbicide, always contact the, the, the educator on your county because they are the best person to really help you to figure out the best herbiciding according to the weeds that you have in your field. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Alex Rocatelli, a forage system specialist here at Oklahoma State University.